In this demonstration, we will demonstrate how to complete the open enrollment task in Workday. For the purposes of this demonstration, the user Carrie Upcake is an employee who has received a Workday notice informing her that she needs to complete this open enrollment task. Carrie will initiate the request by logging into her Workday account. Once logged in, Carrie finds and selects the task in her Workday mailbox. Carrie now sees the first step of the open enrollment process. In this step, Carrie will choose her health care elections. As Carrie makes her selection, the associated costs and credits are automatically computed and added to the total shown at the top. Carrie begins by selecting a medical benefit plan. Carrie selects her medical plan and then chooses her coverage. In her case, she'll be adding her family, so she chooses employee plus family. Note that the costs and credits, if applicable, show over here. She selects her dependents to be added. If at this point you notice that one or more dependents are not showing in Workday, you should click the Save for Later button. From the main menu, you should go to the Benefits menu option and select Dependents under the Change list. View your dependents and add if necessary. Then resume the open enrollment process. Now Carrie selects her dental and vision plans the same way and clicks Continue. Because Carrie is adding dependents, she may need to provide their social security numbers if Workday doesn't know them. If that's the case, she'll be prompted to enter those at this point. However, in this case, Workday already has their social security numbers, so she is taken to the next step where she sets her HSA election amount. Because Carrie selected a health savings account, she is able to adjust her contributions here. Carrie notices that any adjustments are immediately reflected at the top. If she did not select an HSA, the options would be grayed out and she would simply click Continue. Once Carrie is satisfied with her selection, she clicks the Continue button. In this next step, Carrie is able to elect the amounts for her FSA healthcare and her FSA dependent care accounts. She enters her amounts and clicks Continue. Now Carrie is able to choose additional voluntary insurance options, such as additional life insurance. Again, any changes Carrie makes are reflected in the totals at the top. She makes her selections and clicks Continue. In this step, Carrie is able to designate beneficiaries and set up the payment distribution for claims on her life and AD&D insurance, if applicable. In the final step, Carrie can view a summary of all her elections as well as any outstanding action items. At the bottom of the page, to complete the open enrollment, Carrie will electronically sign the benefit elections by checking the box and clicking Submit. With the benefit selection signed, Carrie can print a copy for her records, take care of other workday tasks, or log out of the system.